Big breaking news for Ripple and XRP. Ripple is now required to share certain financial statements that were requested by the SEC. Now, let me explain to you something extremely important about the XRP lawsuit. During the XRP lawsuit, there were three different ways that they were evaluating the XRP coin to see if it was an unregistered security. The first way was they took a look at the Ripple executives and the Ripple executives were buying and selling XRP and they tried to determine whether or not that was an unregistered security. It was not. It was declared that that was not. That did not break the law. The second way they evaluated this was the secondary sales of XRP, meaning like on an exchange. So if you go onto an exchange, Binance or something, and you buy and sell XRP, was that an unregistered security? No, that did not break the law. This was determined in the lawsuit. The third way did break the law. And Ripple did break the law with this third way, which is the institutional sales of XRP. Okay, so the institutional sales broke securities law, like for real, like Ripple actually broke the law. So with this request, they're actually giving, they have to give statements uh, that are going to help the SEC and this lawsuit determine if the institutional sales of XRP after the SEC lawsuit was filed in 2020, if those broke securities laws. So now they're zooming more in on this institutional sales um, ultimately, though, the result of the XRP lawsuit was a big W, right? Like we we won that. Uh, and that's extremely bullish. That It's the exact reason why Coinbase delisted XRP was because they were scared of potentially breaking the law. But after the lawsuit, we now know they did not break the law. They just didn't. Uh, and, and the judge declared that. So we're going to see what happens with this. Let me know your thoughts.